I did not know that our friend Rosie Revere has chapter books, and so do her other friends. This one is called Rosie Revere and the Raucous Riveters by Andrea Beatty, illustrations by David Roberts. Raucous means really rowdy. They got a lot going on. I like that the end paper is graph paper, which engineers use a lot. There's Rosie planning something. It says, for Anna and Alexandra, I love you. For Chad W. Beckerman. Chapter 1. Rosie Revere put on her safety goggles. Are you ready? she asked. Ready, said Ada Twist. Ready, said Ig Iggy Peck. They signaled the thumbs up from behind the kitchen counter. Here goes, said Rosie. She hit the big red button on the countometer. A scratchy computer voice blared from its speaker. This says pressure. Squirt. There's a tube. It says, do snakes like ketchup? And there's the snake. Countdown. Five. Rosie ducked into her safety booth. Four. She flipped open her notebook. Three. She pulled her pencil from behind her ear. Two. Suddenly, Gizmo flew into the kitchen and landed on the contraption. Duck! yelled Rosie. Gizmo chirped angrily. I know you're not a duck, yelled Rosie. One! The three kids dived for Gizmo just as, boom, the contraption exploded. Splat, splop, splurt. Sticky red glops of ketchup flew everywhere. But Gizmo zoomed ahead of the storm. She soared up, up, and out of the way. She looped the loop and gently landed on the refrigerator. Zowie, said Ada, wiping ketchup from her goggles. Yikes, said Iggy, wiping ketchup from his sweater. Hmm, said Rosie, tapping her pencil on her notebook. Rosie looked at the mess and wrote a quick note. Testing in kitchen. Bad idea. There's the ketchup exploded all over the kitchen. That's Rosie and Iggy and Ada. Chapter 2. It says, snake problem. And those are question marks. Ada and Iggy had been helping Rosie all morning. She was trying to invent something for her uncle, zookeeper Fred. Uncle Fred had a big snake problem, and a little snake problem, and a green snake problem, and uh, Uncle Fred had an every kind of snake problem. Every kind of snake in the zoo loved him. They slithered out of the cages and into his office. They hid in his desk, in his pockets, even in his lunch. Look at that, he's trying to eat his sandwich and there's a snake in it. One day, a smooth, smooth green snake named Vern hid in his sandwich. My puppy is named Vern, too. Uncle Fred thought that Vern was a wiggly pickle and almost took a bite. After that, Uncle Fred called Rosie. She invented a contraption to scare away snakes. She called it the Snake Away. It failed. She tried again. And again. And again. Rosie invented five models. They all failed, but she did not give up. Uncle Fred needed her help. Rosie had hoped that the Snake Away Model 5 would do the job. She looked at the mess. The fake snake on the table was covered in ketchup. It looked like a gigantic striped french fry with fangs. Uncle Fred would not like an invention that left ketchup all over his desk. Would you guys like ketchup all over your desk where you're trying to work? He was a mustard kind of guy. And besides, it might attract ants. And possibly french fries. Do you think french fries are going to crawl up on his desk? Rosie added some notes about her testing. Model 1, fabulous flop. Model 2, magnificent mess. Model 3, creative catastrophe. Model 4, Distinguished Dud. Model 5, Ketchupy Kerfuffle. 
The three friends cleaned up the mess. Then they shared peanut butter and honey sandwiches and talked about why the test failed. It's important to talk about why something didn't work so you can figure out how to make it work. After lunch, Ada and Iggy went home and Rosie kept working. She looked at the contraption. A tube had exploded because a kink in the line blocked the ketchup. The pressure of the ketchup built up until... Boom! Aha! said Rosie. She jotted down ideas to fix the problem. Sneak away model 6 would work better. She was sure of it. Well, she was almost sure. There was only one way to find out. She would make changes to the machine and test again. Rosie was about to start when she heard a familiar whirring, purring, clanging, banging sound and looked out the window. It was great, great, Aunt Rose. Rosie stuck her pencil behind her ear, crammed her notebook into her pocket, and ran outside as Aunt Rose landed the Hello Cheese copter in the yard. Hey, hey, called Aunt Rose. How's my favorite engineer? Aunt Rose hopped out of the aircraft and twirled Rosie around in a giant hug. My new invention is a disaster, said Rosie. Brilliant, said Aunt Rose. Tell me about it on the way. Are we going somewhere? asked Rosie. You bet we are, said Aunt Rose. And there's no time to lose. This is an emergency. We'll have to wait till next time to figure out what the emergency is.